As part of this online course here, I've made a uh, Peerwise page where you can get answers to some of the problems that I assign in the problem sets here. Uh, and so I just want to show you the process and tell you a little bit about Peerwise. So to get started, you need to fill out this form here. And the only thing you really need to tell me is your email address, which I'll use as a course identifier. Uh, and then the rest here is, is just out of my curiosity, so you don't have to fill that out. Uh, so just type in your email address here. Um, and hit submit. And once you hit submit, uh, you have to be patient and wait a little while until I process your request. But eventually, uh, you'll get an email address that'll look at, uh, le e email that'll look a little bit like this. Um, this is the video I'm making right now. Uh, and but basically, it'll tell you that you're you're ready to go. It gives you the course ID, and then you need to go to this site here and register. So if you click on the link, you'll see this. And now you need to go in and register here. And that's actually very easy. Um, you need the course ID and the identifier. The course ID is in the email, and the identifier is the email address. You can pick your own username. So this is uh, completely up to you what you want to do. Uh, so I'll just put something in here. And then it waits a little. Then you need to set a password. But you have to remember. Okay, then we need the course ID. So that's the thing in the email. So that's 8460 for this course. And now you need to enter your identifier. That's the email address that you put on the form. Then you need to hit Create. And now you're back on the page here. So now you go in and use your username and your email address. OK, and then you're in. Peerwise, uh, even though you used uh, your email address as the identifier, uh, it's still a good idea to um, also enter it here because it it doesn't really know that you've entered your email address. It just I just used it as a convenient identifier. Here you'll find the course, and so the next thing I want to tell you about is how to navigate the site. So. The answers to the homework problems you'll find here under unanswered questions. Now, these will come in a little bit random order. So, for example, you can see there are some section 2 questions and some section 1 questions. So, the first thing to learn is to go in uh, here and use keywords. So, if you, for example, press here, then you'll get all the section one questions. Okay, and so to so for example, here is if I go here is the the answer to the first problem in the first section. So if you go in here, you can see the right answer is one of these four. And so once you click on that, uh, you will get a detailed solution to the problem. And for example, similarly, for section two and three. Here I haven't en entered, entered all the answers yet. There's also a final one, uh, and that is that I have concept problems. So concept problems are problems that don't that are not uh, on the homework sheet. There are additional problems, and these problems are uh, problems you can solve usually without a calculator. So the, this tests you more on the concepts. So 
you won't find these on the home worksheet, the ones labeled concept questions. Finally, you're very welcome, and in fact, I encourage you to make your own questions. All right, so you can create a new question. All right, you can type your question here. You can write the answers. You have to select one as the right answer, and then you have to write a detailed explanation. Now, the only thing I ask you if you do this is uh, don't uh, pick the topics uh, starting with sections. So for example, section 1 or section 2 and 3. The reason for that is that these, if, if we reserve these sections for the homework problems, then it's very easy to separate or it's very easy to identify the answers to the homework problem set and other questions. So down here you can label it with anything else you want, for example, entropy uh, or, or anything else. Uh, so more on the topic rather than the sections.